Hi everybody, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com, here to bring you our new moon reading for the new moon happening in December 2019. This is a new moon in Sagittarius taking place on December 25th on Christmas Day at 11.09 p.m. United States Central Standard Time. And as I'm making this video and performing this reading, we're just in this really interesting astrological phase right before the winter equinox and so this period between the winter equinox and leading up to the new moon and then headed into the new year this is a really potent period for transformation for growth, for contemplating the past, for absorbing what needs to be absorbed from the past, releasing what needs to be released from the past year, and then setting our intentions to welcome in the new year. We're going to be going through a solar eclipse. We're going to be going through several astrological events, um, all centered around the holidays. So these portals are really ushering us through inner transformation and preparing us for a powerful new decade. So let's see what guidance is in store for us. What we're asking for here is how best to traverse the energies of this new moon. So we are seeking guidance and insights regarding how to best traverse the energies of this new moon and make the most of that energy. And I'm using the Morgan Greer deck today. I'm going to be pulling four individual cards, speaking about them alone, and then putting the reading all together. So let's see what comes up for us. What are our messages? What is our guidance for best traversing this new moon energy of December 2019? Our first card is popping up. It's the Ace of Cups. This is a beautiful sign for replenishment and renewal in our hearts. It's a beautiful sign for new beginnings in regards to love, in regards to relationships, in regard to everything that we care the most about and we hold dear. This is about the stuff that is most important to us. This is about where we place our energy. We can expect renewed emotional connection to those important aspects of our lives where we have a tendency to place the most of our focus and the most of our energy. We can also expect a new beginning in that area, so that could mean that our interests change slightly and that we develop a um, renewed attachment to or a replenishment of um, activities and interests that relate to our past. We may find ourselves being drawn back to um, old interests in a way that really ignites our inspiration and most of all, um, our emotionality emotional attachments new beginnings in the areas of emotional attachments let's see what our next card is our next card is the hierophant the hierophant is all about rules and regulations it's about hierarchy sometimes it's about feeling too restricted and yet at other times it can really mean that a teacher is coming into our lives and that we should have an open mind even if this teacher even if the guidance that comes to us seems totally out of left field for us or doesn't at first really resonate with us or even seems contradictory to some of our current beliefs, our guidance here is to keep an open mind and to understand that they have a unique perspective and that they have been put in our paths for a reason. So we may expect some interesting new teachings, um, some interesting new guidance or insight to come into our lives surrounding this new moon look at the moon of his necklace there definitely about knowledge teaching and guidance just be sure that you don't allow yourself to be too restricted from any outdated um, belief systems that maybe you have outgrown this is about new beginnings though this so this is about new things coming into our lives in regards to um, our spiritual teachings, our personal growth, things of this nature. Let's see what our next card is. This is going to be the Three of Pentacles. 
The Three of Pentacles does require hard work. <laughs> the Three of Pentacles reminds us that everything that we put into it, we're going to get back out of it if our priorities are straight, if we understand our own internal motivations, do we know why we're doing what we're doing? Are we typically putting hard work into something because we want some kind of a reward out of that, right? Well, the guidance with the Three of Pentacles is to make sure that that reward is really gonna give us what we want, right? So uh, oftentimes what we're looking for is an end result of happiness or or freedom or more security, um, things of this nature. We're looking for our feelings to transform. We're looking for our lives to transform in a way that makes us more comfortable, more fulfilled, more satisfied. So make sure that whatever projects you're putting your energy and time into at this time is really going to offer you the rewards that you're seeking, right? Is that bonus going to offer you that sense of freedom? Um, are those accolades going to make you happy? Um, question your motives and question if your motives really match up to the end results that you're going to be receiving. One last card. Let's see what comes up here. It is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords takes us to a place of rest, a place of recuperation. Um, the Four of Swords reminds us that we don't want to get to a place of being totally emotionally and psychologically or mentally exhausted. We need to check ourselves now. It's interesting that this is coming up after the Three of Pentacles. The guidance here is to check ourselves now, to check into where are we placing our energy? Is it really serving us? Are we overextending ourselves? We don't want to go into the new year being completely exhausted. So do a check-in with yourself now. See if you're overworked in any areas. Are you overstressed? Are you carrying too much of a mental load? Is there anything that you can release from your mind, from your activities, from your responsibilities, from your tasks? The Four of Swords has the potential to lay us down and to prevent us from participating in the things that we really care about. So putting all of this together, what we're seeing is that around this new moon, it's going to be a great time to assess what we really care about, um, where, where we really want to place our energies, where we really want to place our, um, our most valuable energy. What is it that we want to give attention to with the conscious intent that where our intention goes, where our attention goes, um, things are going to grow and blossom, right? So um, this is asking us to really assess what are we focusing on. We may be are focusing on things that are taking too much from us and are not going to give back to us what it is we're seeking. This new moon is going to be a good time to release ourselves from restriction. It's going to be a good time to really think about what we care about the most deeply. Where is it that we feel emotionally good, emotionally sound, emotionally secure, emotionally fulfilled in our lives? What tasks or activities make us feel emotionally fulfilled? And how can we refocus some of our time, our energy, some of our hard work into those areas so that we're getting more fulfillment rather than more exhaustion? In addition, surrounding this new moon, there is a high likelihood for new spiritual teachings, new guidance, even a teacher figure, an actual individual to come into your life offering you fresh insight on old perspectives, offering you um, new information that's going to help your belief system or help your spiritual philosophies or help your personal growth. And your guidance is to remain open to that because this new moon is the astrological new year. And this is a really potent time for reevaluating your own values, especially in terms of self-care and in terms of how you can get more fulfillment and avoid 
exhausting yourself, overworking yourself, and getting yourself run down. We want to go with the energy of this Ace of Cups, and we want to avoid what the Three of Pentacles and the Four of Swords is warning us against, okay? Happy holidays, everyone. I hope you have a blessed holiday. I hope you have a lovely time with your friends and family. Um, whatever the holidays look like for you, I'm wishing you um, regeneration and rejuvenation. And I'd like to thank my patrons who make these readings and these videos possible. Remember, if you would like to see these readings a week in advance and gain early access, you can always join the Patreon Mystic Membership. Thanks so much, everyone. Happy holidays. Stay blessed.